Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I got a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I'm kind of excited. All right, we should get started. It's a little big. I felt a little more comfortable. Here's Wellington. <laughs> I got you, baby. Did you say hi to, okay, nope. Ugh, I had him at the vet yesterday. His asthma, it's seasonal. And he's feeling so much better. He's a little skinny still, but she said his weight was okay. He had his senior blood work, so I'll find out Monday what's going on as far as thyroid, liver, kidney, heart, enzymes. Hi, buddy. Okay, let's get started. First thing I picked up, and my store had this new section where they had like floor brooms and mops like Swiffer type stuff and you got them each piece separately so I paid a dollar for the handle and then a dollar for this broom and there's even a sticker on it that says you know everything's sold separate this broom here I picked up for my garage I wanted something that I really didn't care if it gets yucky let me see if I get that on there we go so I thought that was pretty cool. And when I get out to clean out my garage, I'll have a broom. There's still from the previous owners of my condo some oil. I need to really scrub the garage floor. But So I have two sets of brooms apparently. One for the kitty litter. They have their own broom. I have a broom that I use for the rest of the house. And then that will be for the garage. For $2. I don't care. You say hi. You say hi to the peoples. I'm so happy to see him feeling better. I know and Alex is right over here all right this is in no particular order it's all kind of spread out but guys these are Abraham Lincoln socks for 4th of July <laughs> is that hysterical or what they had a lot of cute ones but I'm like I need Abe Lincoln socks duh who doesn't right so I picked up those um, I picked up another lighter. I like these. Um, I have the shorter ones for in-house, but these are for longer candles, but I also use these a lot to light my grill. Um, I use a chimney, and so I need to get up under there and light the, the newspaper. So I grabbed that. That's for me. Um, I got some food stuff. Look at these. Little Hellman's Squeezy Mayonnaise. This is four ounces, and this is good until October of this year which is fine so I have a trip planned I hope cross our fingers I'm supposed to go to the beach in June and September I'm supposed to go to Canada but these are perfect for travel they were a dollar it's Hellman's real mayonnaise so use it and toss it don't have to worry about bringing it home and it's a nice small portion so I grabbed two of those for the summer and if I don't go anywhere, I'll use them here. That's not a big deal. Um, I picked up just a black pepper. I usually grind my own, but sometimes I just, you know, need some pepper. So I grabbed a black pepper. I picked up three of these Starbursts. I love these. They're not the best for me, but I don't care. They're good. This is, uh, you only get six sticks, um, but it's, it's Starburst. So I grabbed those just for summer drinks oops sorry buddy and then I found this barista almond milk this is oh I'm gonna give this to Sarah I didn't read it's not sugar-free that's fine Sarah will drink it um, so when I see her next but this is a barista brand almond milk dairy-free uh carrageenan free and soy free and i wish it was sugar free but it's not I'm trying to see if there's a date on it this is good until august so i grabbed some almond milk for her and then the last i think should be yeah the last of the food i picked up some spices look at this this is the badia brands this is not dollar tree it's a sriracha it's like spicy salt. Oh, that sounds so good. And then they had Longhorn Steakhouse, which is a restaurant, grill seasoning. How exciting is that? Those are going to be fun for summer. So I grabbed those. 
And then to go with those, I picked up this pan. So if you see the holes in it, right? <laughs> Vegetables on the grill. So if this is metal, this is not aluminum, like it's not disposable. Spray it, put your veggies on it, and then they don't roll through the holes on your grill. You can do kebabs, it shows, but you can do any kind of veg. I love grilled vegetables. I don't love grilled vegetables falling through. So now I have this. So what I'll do is cook my meat and then put this on the grill and cook my veg. So I'm super excited about that. I'm just putting all food things together because they are going to the kitchen. Um, I guess this will be food. I grabbed some Nine Lives soft treats. So Wellington needs medicine. He needs to have a steroid or a half a steroid pill every, right now he's at twice a day for five days and then he'll get a half a pill once a day every other day for like 10 days. Um, and that's just for his, you know, his asthma, like I said, but he doesn't like it. It's very bitter. I've taken steroids. I don't like them. But he is very finicky also, so I have a hard time. And I just I feel terrible manhandling him and shoving pills down his throat when he doesn't feel good. I mean, I hate doing it at any time, but especially when he's not feeling well. So what I have been doing is crushing it up and putting it in his wet food. I just want to make sure he gets the whole half a tablet. So I'm going to try burying him in some of these soft treats. Um, I don't really have good luck with him in these treats. But if I can get him to eat one before I start hiding pills in him, I don't know. Here, yeah, buddy. I'm like, why can't you just be like a dog and eat a big hunk of cheese with a pill in it? Like, that would be good. Oh, now he's eating this. Nope. See, he does this all fussy. Well, if he doesn't eat those, Alex will eat them. And if Alex won't eat them, um, my brother and sister-in-law's cat will eat them. So they'll get eaten just by what cat, we don't really know. No, Alex is eating them, but he'll eat any. I picked up, and I'm going to try this. It's diabetic foot cream. I don't know about you guys, but my feet have been super dry since being home and not wearing shoes. So I'm going to try putting this on every morning and then put socks on while I work and see what happens. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good. Um, it says it relieves dry, cracked skin, soothes skin discomfort, fragrance-free, which is good. So we'll try. Just some foot cream. It's not very exciting. Wait till you see this is for exciting. I got a bath bomb. Guys, it's a watermelon. Is that not adorable? I think, I know, I'm going to say the word Christmas. Think stocking stuffers, guys. Like, how adorable is this? And this, the packaging is right on. It is spot on, and they're adorable. I don't think it smells like the fruit. I think it's, you know, it just colors your water. I don't know what it smells like. Uh, it just says fragrance. It doesn't tell me what, but I don't care. Look at that. Is that not adorable for a little... I will use it because I'm a bath girl, but who knows. Um, for outside, I just grabbed one of these cheap sprayers. What I need it for is to water the flowers out front, so nothing that I need to go spend a lot of money on, and hopefully it lasts one summer. So I got a sprayer. I'll let you know if it works. It says it has seven patterns. I just want the watering one. I picked up another package of these because I've been using them with my cross stitch. I've been rolling up the extra fabric and using these clips to keep it out of my way. So I took like five of them out of my drawer. So I just grabbed a six pack. These are great for like tons of things. They are excellent. So I grabbed another pack of those. I grabbed a lanyard and I will take this apart and show you the pattern. Um, for one simple reason, I hook my um, hand sanitizer to it and just kind of wear it around my neck so I can sanitize. This one has a safe, they have safeties on them so you don't like choke yourself or something, I guess. I don't really know. I'm not going to choke myself, but I'm assuming if kids are wearing them, they don't want the kids to choke themselves. So I don't know how to get it to go together. Come on. Well, 
at some point I will figure this out. You put them together and it's supposed to like, you know, do it. But anyway, it's a pretty pattern. And then what I have is some small, like the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. Um, ah, there we go. I'm that, that is not popping apart if somebody's choking you. I'm just going to tell you right now. I guess if you're hanging your body on it. But I thought it was pretty. I wear it like this. And then I would just hook my hand sanitizer. And then when I get to the car, and then touch things. So, and then the little sanitizers from Bath & Body that you can hang on here, I refill with my big bottle of the regular. It doesn't have to be smell good. It just needs to be portable. So I did, I got that. Oh, and these, I thought these were fantastic. I don't know what they are. They are, just says number one decoration. Oh, they're sticky. Okay, perfect. They're de wall decals. But this one says, each day I write the story of my life. Isn't that fun? I grabbed two. One for me and one for Sarah. Sarah's my niece, in case you need... I didn't say. And then I grabbed this one that says family. It is all one sticker, but I feel like I could separate these letters. And they are sticky so you can put them on wood and then do like a mod podge over it to seal them on and i thought that was really pretty and that just says family so i grabbed those um my sarah is an english teacher so i thought she would appreciate that so i grabbed that for her um i like these things i just need to do something with them but i think this shape will fit perfect on those vertical signs like that they have out at fall for Halloween and I think they had them for Valentine's Day. Paint it white and then, or paint it whatever color and then you can attach that right to it. That's a, the right shape. Um, oh, one more kitchen item. Guys, I don't know where this came from, but it is made in China. It doesn't say the brand on it I don't think it doesn't say but it's a colander but it's ceramic is that not sweet and look at the pattern I will not use it for a colander most likely I will end up putting like on my end table over here and um, putting like my needlework or knitting stuff in it just to sit but isn't that neat? And look at the color. It's everything. And the texture is great. Um, I've never seen anything like this at my store before. I know other people get different, I'm assuming like closeouts or something. Oh, I need to take this off the bottom. You know I don't like stickers, right? But yeah, I thought this, and it's pretty good size. I mean, this would look fun too, just sitting out with, trinkets in it or some like decoratives or any kind of like juji put it in your kitchen and put fruit in it it's a nice bowl and it has little hand faux handles and then there's more holes so i thought that was awesome i love that find that made me excited um i did grab some ant traps if anybody wants to know they do work I get every spring these little tiny, I think they're like sugar ants, like little black ants. And I don't even eat sugar. I don't have sugar in my house. They come in through the back, and I think it's because it's wet back there. I don't know. But the ant traps worked, and that's really what's important, I would say, at this point. Right? Yes. And then the rest of this stuff is mostly for, like, crafting and the like. So I found adhesive cork. I grabbed two of these. This is gonna be strictly for decorative. You're not, it's not thick enough to like put push pins, but it definitely is decorative. And there's a million things you could do with these. And they are adhesive. And they are 11.75 by 7.75 inch. And I thought this is fantastic to do some DIY with. So I just grabbed the two for now. Maybe I need more. I don't know. But it's cork. That was fun. 
And then they have these fun pens. And I don't know if I have a piece of paper to write with. Oh, I do. Well, that's a note card. I don't have any paper. Um, they are two colors in one. 3D effect. Perfect for doodling. So like this pen here, when you write with it, you're going to get green and blue. Or green and purple. Red and blue. This is purple and blue and blue and pink. And when you write with them, you get two colors at one time. I thought that would be so fun. Let's see if I can write on something. I don't know. Ooh, it's a fat tip. So I'm going to try something. <gasps> yeah, you can. I don't know if you can see it. It definitely writes with two colors at one time. That's fun. I don't know if they have any other colors, but I got these four just for doodling. Sitting at my desk, you know, things are a little slow right now. We're not back quite back to work yet. I mean, I'm working, but I'm not, I don't have a whole lot to do. So I thought, well, these would be fun just to doodle. And then to store some stuff in, I grabbed just a plain pencil box. I'm getting a new desk, which I think I showed you. You will have seen that video where I cleaned out my craft room in my office. And my new desk, if they have all the pieces, when I get to Ikea, when it opens, we'll have lots of drawers. And one of the drawers will be for like pens and stuff. So I thought this is a perfect size for that. So I put my pens in there. And actually, I'll leave it open because I have some other crafty bits. Um, I got some more of this Fix All Adhesive. This is in a dupe. It's, this is a straight up dupe for E6000 glue, and I love it. And I love that they come in these little tubes for a dollar, and there's plenty of glue in here, and it works. I've not had any issues with this, and I've used both, and I think this is fabulous. So I grab, I just grab them every once in a while to have a back sock. Um, speaking of, I grabbed two more cat bowls. Y'all know I love these with the rubber bottom and they don't slide when the cat eats them. Plus, their low profile helps with the cats and their whiskers so it doesn't annoy them when they're trying to eat. Um, I have a ton of these if you've watched me for any amount of time. I think I have 12 bowls. But here's the thing. I use four bowls a day. So each of the cats gets like a tablespoon of wet in the morning and a tablespoon in the evening and I feed them and then I run it through the dishwasher because I don't I don't want them eating out of a dirty bowl so I have four of each color they come in purple pink and a teal color and I just keep looking and I they run through the dishwasher I've not had any issues and the boys I mean they don't have any problems eating them but I like that they're rubber and they don't slide now, if you don't give your cats, I mean, if you want to wash it every day, you can. It's up to you. But I have a lot of bowls. But I just keep them stacked on my counter. And then each night I grab two. Each morning I grab two. And then they go right into the dishwasher. So that's why I have a stack of them because I don't use the dishwasher. I don't want to run the dishwasher every single day. And I'm too lazy to hand wash them, let's be honest. And they're a buck. So, oh, excuse me. I found note cards. I use a fair amount of note cards um, for letters and things, but look at these. Is that not fun? And they're just plain note cards and you get eight. Big thank you notes and little messages I would like to send to people. And I thought that was super cute. If you look in the, where the card section is, they also have like plain cards there, Hallmark brand. I just saw these and thought they were sweet. But I also buy the Hallmark ones that they have. Um, you know, it's hit or miss, obviously. But, again, I mail out a fair amount. I'm just picking up trash while I'm sitting here. A fair amount. So I thought, well, why not? Just grab them when you see them. So, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Hi, Jeff. All right. I picked this up for Sarah. It is a smartwatch stand support. The thing is this. It says it's smartwatch, but they just need to call it Apple because that's annoying I bought two um, it looks like this and you see that hole right there so if you have a smartwatch like I have a galaxy smartwatch the charger 
is round and magnetic and so you sit it on the back and it charges your phone so what this does is you put your charger in here and then you can sit your phone on it and it's not flat on the ground and this thing holds your your watch while it's charging which is great except for my charger doesn't fit in the hole Sarah's will though so I'll give it to her which is fine she's got an Apple charger so hopefully hers will fit it just makes it convenient to be able to just lay your watch over and let it dangle instead of trying to lay it flat and if it falls off the charger it doesn't charge in this way you'll know and it's cute I mean it's black I guess it's not cute hold and store your smartwatch no your Apple it's fine I'll give it to Sarah next time I see her she she is good like that um in the crafter square i'm kind of digging this crafter square section i'm not gonna lie but they had this utility knife and look at all those blades different shapes that it comes with and it's just a exacto knife i think you get one of each type yeah one of each type of blade i don't i don't really know what all the blades are for but i'm okay with that you know crafting you need things when you craft right so look, you get six blades and a handle. And this is purple, not pink. So I grabbed one of those. I mean, you know guys know I craft. And then I found these. And they had them in two different sizes, but I got this size for a very specific reason. And what they are are glass vials. Um, and they have a metallic lid. I don't know if you can store liquid in here. I don't know if the top would rust. I'm not storing liquid in here. I'm storing um, needles. Sewing needles. My cross stitch needles to be exact are for one or two of these. Because I'm going to put a label on it. What brand and what size needle. Because in cross stitch you use different size needles. And to store them safely. I have to measure it, but I'm pretty sure they'll fit in here. So, and then it's just, yeah, I think this eh, might hold liquid. I don't know why. It is an aluminum top, so maybe like essential oils and stuff, but I don't think you're supposed to use clear bottles for essential oils, but it is glass. So what I can do when I get my needles in the mail, because I had just ordered some and they should be here. I'll put the needles in here. I will label the brand that they are and what the size is. Because I use right now a 26, but I'm going to start needing to get a 24. Yeah, 24, which is more smaller. So I will have probably, definitely two for size and brand. And then when I, you know, that's for here. When I travel, then obviously I will put them in something different. But I thought these were perfect for that. And then I have like sewing needles and then, you know, whatever. So I know I can use three. The fourth one, maybe I'll put glitter in it or something. I don't know. But I thought these were nice for a dollar and they're glass. So that was awesome, right? Because we need crafty stuff. And then the last thing I got actually was for Sarah specifically. Um, because, well, she's a dog mama. I'm like, ooh. thought these were sweet little stickers just for her to have. And it says, live, love, woof, love, um dog it's a picture of a dog my best friend friend oh i don't know what i think that's oh i think it's a dog and a cat look at i think that's a dog and a cat and then that pretty dog You're just some stickers i thought she would enjoy those so that's all for sarah these are gonna get put away case my aunt situation doesn't resolve itself which I put two out three days ago and I haven't seen any ants sure. I haven't seen any ants since so I guess it's working right all right guys I oh an almond milk for Sarah I'm telling you all this so I remember to put this stuff aside when I see her again I'm kind of excited to come up with something for this I think Maybe I'll do a couple DIYs, like home office DIYs, how to get yourself organized. I'm surely I'm not going to be the only one working from home for a little while longer. I just wish I could go get my desk. And I don't know what time stinking I care when they're opening, but that's okay. 
All right, guys, that is it for now. And I hope you had a great weekend. And I will talk to you later. Bye.